All right, y'all, this is Rick with Get Out and Fish. And as you can see, we're about to make a swim bait, but this isn't just any swim bait. All right, y'all, so I'm gearing up to pour a swim bait in my mega swim bait mold that everyone seems to really like and uh, today we're doing something a little different um i was scrolling down facebook like usual and one of the groups the the groups dedicated for uh airbrushing uh bass lures and swim baits and stuff someone put a really cool lure out there for autism awareness and uh he painted the puzzle pieces on there and everything and I started thinking, I was like, how could I do that with plastic? And uh, I know I went and watched uh, a, one of Chris Jones's videos and he did uh, something like that, but I'm gonna do something a little different. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that I don't know if it's even gonna work, but we're gonna find out. But I got four uh, quarter cups of dead on tube crawl blend ready to go. Got four different colors. This is, these are the, autism colors I picked out. I got like, and I want, I want all these colors to be pearl based. So we got this green chartreuse pearl. I just got this new Dorado pearl in that looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some red pearl and for the yellow, I'm going to use this gold pearl. And if I need to supplement any of them, I have the, the liquid pigments back there as well. But yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be cool. So watch to the end and, uh, see how I attempt to pull this off. All right, let me get this plastic heated up and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're back. Got two, the first two cups heated up and ready to go. Uh, the, there's not a lot of plastic in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so they don't cool off too fast. But what we're gonna do is I really, for the idea I have, uh, which is crazy, but we'll see if it works, uh, I really gotta make these super thick. So I'm gonna add way more to a quarter cup of plastic than I normally would. I'm gonna add a whole like scoop of this stuff. This stuff, look at that, isn't that pretty? Jeez. Ooh, that's a lot. But that's what, that's what it calls for today. So I'm gonna get that mixed up. All right. Get that one going. Get another knife. Let's do this bright blush pearl red. Uh, let's see. Clean my spoon off. Get a big old scoop of that. You'll see in a little while why I, I want it so thick way thicker than I would ever do anything else. And while I'm here and I remember, go ahead and uh, go down there and hit the like and subscribe button because uh, I have a feeling you're really gonna like this this uh, method. And uh, well, I mean, it's a good, it's for a good cause. Oh, and did I mention I got a giveaway at the end? I gotta start remembering to say that stuff. Yeah, if you watch to the end, there, I'm gonna be giving something away, so. All right, look at that beautiful red. Let me get these heated back up and vacuumed, and I'll get the other the other colors ready to go here in just a second. All right, y'all, we're back. Let's get these other colors mixed up, and we can get to all the uh, the new stuff I'm talking about. That green in there, awesome. All right, and let's get the pearl, the gold pearl. Get them mixed up. Put some pretty looking stuff. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need that liquid pigment. This is gonna do just fine. So one of the reasons I decided to use the pearl other than the fact that it just kind of like stands out and looks really cool but i knew i was going to be using a really strong red and i didn't want it to bleed 
that was kind of the main inspiration. But then I started thinking, man, that pearl's going to look cool the way I'm going to do it. So it was twofold. If you guys don't know, red, red pigments tend to be the bleeders. They bleed into the other uh, layers of plastic you use. But the pearl is kind of one way to get around that. Looking good, looking good. Man, I can't wait to get these all, all ready to go. Y'all are going to think I'm nuts. All right. I'm going to heat these back up, get them in the vacuum chamber, and when we get back, we'll be ready to uh, do some magic. All right, y'all, we're back. We got the first color ready to go. It is good and hot. And uh, here's what I plan on doing. I'm going to have to do each color individually because they're going to have to get heated up individually. But, yeah, I'm going to pour the plastic on this baking sheet. And whether this works or not, who knows? I've never done anything like this. So what I'm going to do is kind of tilt it up. Let it cool. And then I'm going to do the same for all the other colors. All right, so I did it. I poured all the colors out right on this uh, sheet pan. You're probably all going, what the heck are you trying to do, man? Well, uh, I have a plan. I'm going to have to wait till these cool down. For I'm probably going to give them like 10 minutes. But I, uh, I'm, I got that tube crawl in there. It's going to harden up. I went on Amazon and found these little cookie cutters from from Amazon, some store on Amazon, and uh, they cut out little uh, puzzle pieces. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting out a bunch of different colors and different uh, shapes and then laying them out on the mold. The issue I have is these are pretty big. These cover up a good portion of the, the mold. So I'm gonna have to get creative but if you can't get creative, then this is probably not the right uh, business to be in, right? So I'm going to come up with some kind of way to get these on the bait, on the mold. And uh, as soon as these cool off, we'll be right back and I'll start cutting out pieces. I still got to see if this even works, so hopefully it does. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's cooled off a little bit. Uh... I couldn't resist, so when I was off camera, the I grabbed the the first piece, and it uh, looks like it cut out uh, pretty well. I had to get another uh, mold and really push down on the metal to metal and get it get it cut, but I think I can do that uh, several times with each different kind of shape, and uh, we might be able to put something together here. So hang tight and I'll start cutting these out. All right, we're back, y'all. I got uh, some pieces cut out, ready to go. That turned out a little better than expectation. Um, I'm liking it. It looks like it might be able to come together. So what I'm going to have to do is I'd like to get 
three colors in each little thing. What I want to do is I want to put like something like that together. I'm probably going to have to cut here, but you'll be able to see the blue, the red, and the green. And then I'll lay it diagonally this way. That way you'll get to see the top and the bottom and then that whole piece in the middle, hopefully. And then I can cut it to size. I got a razor blade, some scissors. I can I can cut things. I'd like, I'd like it to be nice and even across the top. And then I want the belly to be showing a little bit. So uh, sit tight while I sit and put this puzzle together and see if I can't get something figured out. I'm not going to have it all the way up and down the bait. I'm just try and cover the meat of this, and then I'm going to fill it with like a charcoal black and really make those colors stand out uh, like a smoke black. Really, really, really light on the black pigment. Uh, all right, so hang tight and uh, let me see if I can do this. I'd say 90% of the time when you have an issue with plastic, this guy will fix it. All right, y'all, we are back. Got one cup of plastic, put 10 drops of black in there. It's vacuumed and ready to go. This has been sitting on the griddle at max heat. So this is a big piece of aluminum, so it takes a lot of heat. But uh, let's fill her up. And by the way, I'm kind of worried that that's not going to be enough to fill this whole mold. So if it cuts out early and fades to the, to the opening, you know why. think it'll be enough. I started pouring too fast and got some bubbles up in the front. I can take care of those with the, the old heat gun later. And that over pour I can, I can fix after it's done too. All right, we're gonna let that sit and cook for about 10 minutes. And uh, when we return, we'll see how this uh, turned out. Maybe it was an epic fail. But uh, in my mind, it looked amazing. <laughs> so hang tight, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. It's still a little warm, but I really just can't wait any longer. I want to see how it turned out. Uh, this little technique, I just kind of... I wanted to see how I could do what an uh, airbrusher did. Well, I, I can't really do that pouring plastic, but... If I could get the same effect, he just had a, a swim bait that had puzzle pieces on it. And I was wondering, how can I uh, get puzzle pieces on there? And then I was like, hey, I'll just cookie cut them out. But I think this uh, technique could work pretty cool with, uh, especially in this big mold, with uh, stuff like I could make, pour some black on there and let it flatten out and then cut out some cool little like stripes for, uh, I don't know, yellow bass stripes or something like that. Um, there's this, this technique could probably, uh, 
be used for a lot of stuff. Um, but I thought this was a pretty cool idea. Let's see if it turned out all right. Um, let's open her up. Oh, wow. So it looks pretty cool. But I think I need to put it back on there and melt it some more. Some of these are not connected. So I think I had not fixed that, but hey, that looks pretty cool, right? I was thinking about possibly uh, getting some powder paint uh, and brushing different colors of powder paint on so it kind of blends in with the black and then doing what I hate, uh, clear, then clear dipping it. And that would probably get rid of this problem too without having to reheat it. But yeah, this, this big mold, you just have to, you really got to heat it and let it, let it cook on the griddle for a while, especially with those big chunks of puzzle piece on there. But other than that, that, uh, that looks pretty cool. I think I'm really glad I went with the pearl because that next to that, that black plastic, uh, it really pops. And I tried to go really light on that that black, I only put 10 drops for a cup of plastic and that that uh, that thickened it up pretty good. But since it's so thick, I might go through and just powder, brush some powder paint on and then clear dip it. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'll get some eyes on there, then clear dip it. And uh, this, if anyone wants it, comment down below and... Uh, before my next video, I'll draw a winner and I'll send this out to you if you want if you want it. Uh, if you perhaps know someone or you your family is affected by autism and you think this would be a cool little thing to have, I'll make sure it looks good and pretty for you and I'll have pictures of uh, the finished product on my Instagram and Facebook if you are so interested. But yeah, um, this was a this was an interesting idea. I'm kind of kind of impressed that it turned out as well as it did even though that's pretty that's pretty bad just let it cook longer uh had i let it cook longer it probably would have turned out a lot a lot more how i envisioned it but yeah that was that was actually a lot of work too so and this was uh this is pretty cool so uh at least come on you gotta at least give me a like you don't have to comment or anything give me a like i'll take it uh if you if you really like it go ahead and subscribe uh, you have to be a subscriber to win, obviously, but just put, just comment, yeah, I want it, subscribed, or something like that, so I know, and uh, yeah, I'll draw a winner uh, here in the next week or so, uh, before my next video, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. If you want to see a picture of it, of the, the complete finished product, uh, check out my Instagram or my uh, business uh, Facebook account. But other than that, uh, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Tight lines. <laughs>